Qian Jiyi told Lin Yueda, even though we're married, if you ever feel it's not right or you fall in love with another girl, you can always break up with me and we can get divorced. Lin Yueda replied, I won't fall in love with anyone else. She said, don't make promises to me, and also, I don't like cooking at home. Keeping the house clean is more important than making meals. He said, all right, I understand. Wu Yu received a call from Fang Yuan, who informed her that she had found customer feedback on the Yaman face masks and had compiled all the negative reviews and complaints, sending them to her email. Wu Yu carefully reviewed the customer information provided by Fang Yuan and, sure enough, discovered cases of allergic reactions. In a panic, she called Qian Jiyi late at night to report the issue. Although Lin Yueda and Qian Jiyi had already registered their marriage, Qian Jiyi insisted on sleeping in separate rooms. Suddenly, she received Wu Yu's call and immediately decided to have Wu Yu retrieve the remaining face masks from Sophie and send them for testing. Wu Yu sent a text message to Sophie asking for the remaining face masks, but Sophie replied that she had already had Lu Man throw them away. Wu Yu had no choice but to contact the customers who had lodged online complaints, offering to buy back the face masks they had at double the price. Lin Qing came to see Hezia and, impressed by Hezia's entrepreneurial success, said, Old He, not bad at all. Hezia asked him, Do you feel even a tiny bit of regret? Lin Qing quickly responded, Yes, 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 just a little. Hezia laughed, That's music to my ears. So, what brings you here? Lin Qing said, I heard your face masks are great. How about sending me a case? Hezia replied, For your girlfriend, right? No problem. Lin Qing said, A whole case, ship it to me, thanks. As he was leaving, Lin Qing reminded Hezia that some factories were producing counterfeit face masks, and they had already entered the market. Hezia immediately became alert and sent people to investigate customer feedback on the face masks. Wu Yu reported to President Fan that there was a quality issue with the Yaman face masks and suggested they be taken off the shelves immediately under the pretext of being out of stock. President Fan instructed her to first report the matter to President Xiao. Worried that this issue would soon cause a major uproar, Wu Yu felt she had no choice but to bypass the usual reporting hierarchy. President Fan, realizing the urgency, signed the approval on the spot to take the Yaman face masks off the shelves. Upon learning that some customers had allergic reactions to the face masks, Hezia immediately realized that counterfeit Yaman face masks had entered the market. He quickly called the only authorized distributor, instructing them to halt all sales of Yaman face masks. He also dispatched a team to repurchase the problematic masks at three times the original price while asking the affected customers to come in to verify the situation. Wu Yu instructed her colleagues to take the Yaman face masks off the shelves, but President Xiao firmly refused, insisting that since the Yaman masks were selling well, they should remain available. He adamantly stated that the sales department was only responsible for sales, while quality issues were for other departments to handle. Wu Yu, knowing how difficult he could be, falsely claimed they were planning to create scarcity through a hunger marketing strategy. However, President Xiao continued to block her efforts, making Wu Yu suspect that he might be hiding something. Later, Lu Man handed Wu Yu the quality inspection report on the remaining Yaman face masks that Sophie had used, confirming that there was indeed a problem with the masks. Wu Yu then organized the negative feedback from customers and prepared to confront Hezia, ready to hold him accountable. Wu Yu stormed into Hezia's office, throwing the compilation of negative reviews and the problematic face masks she had repurchased onto his desk. She said to him, take another look at these photos of people whose faces were ruined by allergic reactions. Hezia calmly responded, none of this proves that our product is the issue. Further investigation is needed. Yaman face masks sell over a million units a month jumping to conclusions based on a few isolated cases seems too hasty. Wu Yu then produced the inspection report from Lu Man, which was based on the remaining masks Sophie had used, and handed it to Hezia. Hezia, however, did not believe the validity of the report. Determined to get to the bottom of it, he took Wu Yu to the lab for a random sample test. The results showed no problems with the face masks. 
Wu Yu reported to Qian Ji, and both of them suspected that the face masks submitted for testing by Lu Man were counterfeit. At that moment, news broke online revealing Lu Man's quality inspection report for the Yaman face masks, along with large photos of Hezia and Liang Kuai. Liang Kuai was flustered and at a loss for what to do, while Hezia remained remarkably calm amidst the chaos. Wu Yu suspected that Lu Man had leaked the quality inspection report for the face masks and confronted her directly. Lu Man responded defiantly, Hezia produced substandard masks, and I'm going to expose him. So what? Wu Yu retorted, but you don't have sufficient evidence. Lu Man replied, isn't the inspection report enough evidence? Wu Yu shot back, I've been to Hezia's company and personally inspected their products, there are indeed no issues. The tension escalated, and the two women ultimately had a falling out. Hezia and Liang Kuai arrived at the only company with the legal team to negotiate, asserting that the company was selling counterfeit face masks. President Xiao refused to admit any wrongdoing. In response, Hezia presented the genuine masks, highlighting that they featured fluorescent anti-counterfeiting measures, while the counterfeit masks did not. Cornered, President Xiao finally acknowledged that the platform had sold fake masks, but he deflected blame by claiming that there was an issue with the supply chain provided by Yaman Company. Hezia, however, remained firm in his belief regarding the quality of Yaman face masks and decided to take the matter to court against only company. President Xiao called Wu Yu into his office privately, instructing her to firmly assert that the counterfeit masks were provided by Yaman Company. Wu Yu insisted on getting to the bottom of the truth. In response, President Xiao ordered her to inform all staff to work overtime and thoroughly review all cases from the beginning of the year to the present. He warned that if any problems were discovered, the responsible parties would face fines, and in severe cases, termination. Reluctantly, Wu Yu complied. Her colleagues were frustrated and directed their anger at her, throwing files and documents to her. Wu Yu had no choice but to sift through each item one by one, trying to uncover the truth. Liang Kuai quickly drafted the lawsuit against only company for breach of contract. Hezia wanted to discuss the situation with Wu Yu one last time before proceeding with the lawsuit. Meanwhile, Wu Yu was working late at the office, searching for information and reviewing documents. After finishing work, Hezia went to Wu Yu's house to find her. Unfortunately, Wu Yu's father accidentally broke her cherished figurine. To avoid being scolded by Wu Yu, her father asked Hezia to repair the figurine. When Wu Yu returned home, she mistakenly thought that Hezia had been the one to break her figurine. Without any context, she confronted Hezia angrily, shouting at him without giving him a chance to explain. Hezia, taken aback by her outburst, chose to leave in silence, feeling frustrated by the misunderstanding.